That structure looks pretty interesting. And also this biome, it looks like absolutely everything here is burnt. I I'm not sure. Oh, oh okay, I'm on fire. Uh, what the what the frick is that guy? Uh, I think he might be friendly. Okay, he's not friendly. Hey, this is Chris. Hopefully everyone is having an awesome day. And welcome back to another mod review. So today we're reviewing the Desolation mod for 1.16.5 and it's a fabric mod that adds a new type of biome and a bunch of cool blocks, mobs, items, and even structures. Anyway, let's just get straight into this video. So here we have the main biome that this mod adds, which is the chart forest. So before going into it, you can see that there's a bunch of ash going around. And once you go into the biome, the sky gets dark and you get a few bad effects. So you first get weakness and you also get mining fatigue and this is a permanent effect as long as you're in this biome but that can be solved later by some new gear that this mod adds but as you can see inside the forest everything is burnt to a crisp even the mobs are burnt to a crisp um yeah I, I can clearly see that by their heads and i don't know how this how they survived a fire this bad but um who cares they, they just look freaking awesome Anyway, this biome adds a new type of tree called the charred trees. And as you can see, these charred trees are pretty tall. By the way, most of the time when this forest generates, it doesn't generate this epically because I have other two worlds and it doesn't look as epic. But anyway, the other thing that you might notice is the water is completely dark and I don't think anyone would want to take a bath here. And I forgot to show the ground, so... You can see the entire ground here is burnt. Everything is basically just a crispy KFC. That was put in the fryer like five times. And you get this awesome biome right here. So here we have the Tinker Base. So this Tinker Base is basically just a really small house that lives in the forest. Uh, 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 wait, did I just describe it as a living creature? I mean it's built in the charred forest. So once you get inside, you'll find a few interesting things. So inside this chest, there's a bunch of items that you might want. So there's a bunch of activated charcoal. There's a bunch of goggles, which we'll get to later. And they're pretty important. And we have a really rare item called the Heart of Cider in here. And we just have a bunch of fruit. So if you want to get started, you basically want to come here first. And why the heck do I have boots in my inventory? And you also find some furnaces a crafting table, a cauldron, and a brewing stand, and a bed. So basically you can get set up just by coming to this house. And I think it's a pretty good place to live unless you probably um step on this area where you just get weakness and this is probably the worst house you can live in. I can't imagine breathing this in for so many years. Anyway, let's just go into the blocks. By the way, this mod doesn't just add the charred forest. The charred forest is just the main biome, and there's actually a few sub biomes. So here we have the charred forest clearing. So everything spawns here except trees, and that's basically it for this area. And you also have a miniature version of the charred forest. So let's go to the charred forest small, and let's just teleport there once it finds it. Well, I had to go to New World because it, it, it didn't really allow me in the other world. There Apparently there wasn't an island close enough, but here we have the small version. So the small version isn't as extensive. And I actually like this one because look at this formation right here. Basic, oh, it, it just looks so good. It, it, it looks like there's just pillars down here. This is actually pretty cool. I don't know why I'm a fan of this. If I've seen this before, but I just thought that it would be cool to show this off. One more thing, let me just let you listen to the ambience in this biome. Yes, it does sound a little bit scary and desolate. That's why it's called the Desolation mod. By the way, I forgot to mention this, but every single thing here is fireproof. So for example, I can set this guy on fire and he does not care at all because he's already burnt. And you can also try burning the trees and they won't burn any further. This is kind of obvious because everything is already burnt. What? How can you burn something that has already been burnt? I kind of wish everything that you set on fire here could just turn into ashes. Although I think this tree is made of ashes already. You know what? I'm overthinking everything. So let's get started with covering the blocks. 
So the first block we're going to cover is the charred soil. So this is basically what you see across the entire biome. This is just grass, except it's burnt to crisp. Actually, I think everything is burnt to crisp, so why do I even need to mention it? And now we have the ash bramble. So this is what lies at the floor of the forest, and it just breaks easily once you jump into it in the right position. So there we go, it's completely dead. And now we have the charred branches. This is just what's on top of the trees. And this is the biome's own version of grass. So this is scorched turf, tough, okay, it's tuft. You know what, I'm just gonna stop pronouncing it or else I'm gonna drive, my, drive myself insane. Next up, we have one of the deadliest blocks. So this is an ember block and it's basically like a magma block because if you stand on it, it's gonna burn you. I actually think this is a little bit stronger, but I, I don't wanna find out. You can also mine the ember block to get some charcoal bits, which I'll show later on in the mod review. And here we have its other brother, the cold ember block, and this won't burn you if you stand on it. And I don't need to try it in survival because I've already tested it. By the way, this is the reason why Horsican is over there and not in here. He's really allergic to dust and this is basically the closest thing to dust. So this is the ash block. And the ash block is crafted with a bunch of ash in the crafting table. Just fill up the entire thing and you got yourself an ash block. But to get ash, you need to destroy ash. Oh, um, I, I, it, okay, let's just call this the ash block because that'll make it much, much easier. Basically, the only way to get ash is to break a bunch of ash blocks with a shovel. So as you can see, it's dropping a bunch of ash and this is how you craft that block. And the ash isn't really useless because I'll show you what you can actually do with this ash. I think it took too long at that part, but here we have the cinder fruit plant. So this has another use to it, which I'll show off in the mob section. But the way this basically works is you just right click on it like if it was a berry and then you just get the cinder fruit. And once you eat the cinder fruit, you can just gain some fire resistance. And this fire resistance only lasts a few seconds. But if you have a few of these, you could probably cross a river of lava. I have to test that out once I'm done with this part. But if you want to actually get the seeds for this, you can just right click to break it and you get the seeds. And you can only plant this in charred soil. So you can't actually plant it in grass blocks. Actually, I don't know if you can. And the answer is no. So make sure you bring some charred soil if you actually want to plant this in your house. So let's just place it there and it should grow back eventually. By the way, I'm not going to cover the lava part because it was dumb of me to not realize that fire resistance allows you to swim in lava anyway. But let's just go on to the wooden blocks. Now we have the charred log. So this is used exactly like normal Minecraft wood and can actually be crafted into a lot of wooden things. So you can craft it into planks, stairs, slabs, doors, trap doors, fences, fence gates, and also buttons. And these look pretty cool, um, although I don't know if I like the door though. I, I, I guess they can look pretty cool if you make a building out of these blocks. Whoops, and I also forgot that there's actually pressure plates. But as you can see, you can actually make a pretty nice house with this. And I think the mansion actually looked better, so why did I even build this? And by the way, you can also get some charcoal bits from the charred logs. Now let's cover the mobs. So the first mob we have is the Blackened, which is the hostile mob. So let's just go around and try to pick a fight with one of these KFC skeletons. No way! <laughs> okay, I, I didn't mean it as, as an offensive way because uh, uh, I really love this mod and I do not want to give the wrong message to the creator. So let's just find one of these skeletons. So as you can see, they look awesome. Just look at that heartbeat right there. It, 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 it's just... Oh, uh, you know what? I, I, I have to actually admire this guy. And I just got burnt by the thing that I just said that burns earlier. I don't know why I'm stepping on this. But let's just let him attack me. So he just attacks you by making you blind and throwing ash in your eyes. I mean, his method of making you blind is basically just throwing ash in your eyes. And then trying to punch you to death. I don't know why he might want to make you blind if you can see him anyway. Oh, once you actually get far away enough... Yeah, you can't actually see him, so it does give you a lot of bl blindness. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna eat the golden apple, and let's just kill this guy. Why Why keep him alive? And he, I, I don't know how much resistance he has, but there we go. He drops some ash, 
and in rare occasions, he'll drop the heart of Cinder. Okay, I found a few, so let's just smack him with the most powerful looting sword ever. And there we go, he dropped his rare loot, which is the heart of Cinder. And he also dropped the bone like a normal skeleton, and they'll drop the ash too. What the frick, what is this? <laughs> Okay, you know what? This isn't part of the mod review, but you gotta be kidding me. What is this guy doing here? Are they liter Do they literally not attack villagers? Oh, they, they seem to not be interested in anything. Um, I guess they're only interested in killing you. So here we have the most adorable mob in this mod, and this is the only passive mod. This is called the Ash Skewtler. Scooter. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. But anyway, let's just go after this cute, adorable guy. And let's feed him his favorite food, which is the cinder fruit. And let's just right click on him. And he should start looking for random items hidden within the ashes. So let's just feed him everything we can. And there we go. So he got us some iron. And now let's try to make him get us. Something really rare. Oh, okay. A lead seems pretty good. And two of them. That That's really cool. And I just want to get the emerald I got earlier while testing this. Oh, okay. It gave us a diamond. That's what I'm talking about. This guy can literally find you treasure. As long as you have a bunch of cinder fruit. Although it can give you a bunch of trash. But I he actually don't consider the name tag or the lead tr uh, any trash. This guy is actually amazing. So thank you. Ah! Oh, thank you, buddy. And I think it's my time to leave. Huh, I didn't notice that the ambience was playing this entire time. But anyway, let's just go back in here. And let's go on to the items over here. So the first thing we have is ash. So the ash basically just blinds any mob that you throw it at. So here I have a blackened. And I'm going to play his own game. I'm going to try to blind him. So there we go. Um, is this really a blinding game? So I'm not sure what you would want to blind mobs for. But uh, I guess it doesn't actually stop him. Wait, why the frick did I use it on him? He, I, I think he can clearly not be affected by the ash. And by the way, you have to right click for it to actually work. So um, yeah, I'm just constantly right click. You know what? Get out of here. I, I don't want to test it with you. Let's test it with a zombie. So let's see if the zombie can get blinded. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know if it's actually working. So let's just get far enough away, and hopefully he leaves us alone. Oh, okay. It just blinds him temporarily. I don't know what it. You know what? I don't think this is actually that useful because it basically just blinds yourself, and you get out of here. Another you. Another use for ash is to fertilize crops. I'm just doing that for a mod review. Alright, um, I guess that I'll only do it to one plant, so he won't actually be bothered by this. So here we're gonna grab some of Ramsey's potatoes, and let's just break this and just put some seeds here. So now that we have the seeds, we're gonna use the ash. So this has 0 0.25 the efficiency of normal bone meal so it's not going to work so efficiently but let's just right click and as you can see the ash is slowly working up to grow the plant and there we go now here is the activated charcoal so this is really important because it's not just for crafting that block over there it's actually used in some of the recipes for the gear that you can get in this mod but the way you basically make some activated charcoal is just get some charcoal and put it into the furnace and once you put it in the furnace it'll start processing and it'll turn this charcoal into ash so it is almost done and just give it to me there we go now we have the activated charcoal and which i'm just gonna throw away next up we have the charcoal bit so the charcoal bit basically works like normal charcoal except it's a little bit smaller so let's just place a furnace down let's grab a piece of iron and let's just put it in here now to craft a charcoal bit so the charcoal bit is crafted with one charcoal and it turns into four charcoal bits so let's just grab the bits and let's stuff it into a furnace and Oh, I actually think it's pretty efficient. You know what? It's not as efficient. So I don't know why you would want to use a charcoal bit. Except if you want it to um, take a little bit longer. I'm not sure. Last but not least, we have the last item before going on to the gear. So this is 
the music disc of Desolation. And you can possibly find it in loot like normal music discs. But anyway, let's just put it in here and let's just listen to this. So I'm just going to keep talking over it just to make sure that I probably don't get a copyright claim at all because I do not want copyright claims on my videos because I probably want to monetize it once I actually start making money off YouTube. Anyway, all these other items will be covered later on in the mod review, so let's just go to our gear. So here is the gear that this mod adds. So the first piece of gear we're going to cover is the mask. The mask basically protects you from the evils of the forest. It basically just protects you from the ashes in the forest. And let's just put it on. And you probably already know everything about the masks already. Um, since You know what? Let's not talk about it. So let's just go and show you the recipe. So here we have the mask. The mask is crafted with six leather, one air filter, and two strings. And the air filter is crafted with one paper in the middle, surrounded by activated charcoal. Anyway, let's just put this on. I, I guess we already have it on. So we already have it on. Let's just, you know what? Let's just put it there. And it looks really, really awesome. I actually wish that these were masks in real life. I, I would probably want to wear it even more. But let's just step into this biome. And there's no effects. I can even go into survival mode and absolutely nothing. So I am no longer weakened by this place anymore. Now let's just take off the mask and go on to the goggles. So here we have the goggles. So the goggles, can you can just get them from the structures that spawn in the forest. And I think that's true for the mask too. Anyway, let's just grab the goggles. And the recipe for it is three glass panes four iron ingots and two leathers and let's just put this on so it's really fashionable like the other one. Oh, it looks like solar eclipse glasses and why is it why, why is it a square you know what I, I i kind of like this although i kind of wish that this was squared on your face you know what i, I, I guess that minecraft is squared so it, it really makes sense now let's just go up to one of these guys and I probably need some armor. If you couldn't tell already, this also makes everything look darker. So you basically just sacrifice your light level just for protecting yourself against these guys. It sounded like I just had a stroke. But the, the ashes have no effect on me. Dude, why are you even trying? Why are you even trying? It does not even matter anymore. You, you can't do anything about it. But if you haven't noticed, it makes you have weakness again. So there is another thing you can craft. That solves both problems. So here is the air filter and mask. And it's just crafted by putting some goggles next to a mask. And you have masks and goggles. And you can probably already tell what it does. But there we go. That looks awesome. Oh, that's actually something I would probably want to wear in real life. Imagine just a random weirdo with that on their face. By the way, I realized that I missed a joke I could have made about this. This is the forbidden confetti. Now we have some new potions that this mod adds. So there's two previous potions that just have a new ingredient. And then you have an overpowered potion. But first we have the primed ash. I almost forgot the recipe. So the way you make primed ash is you put one ash in the middle surrounded by activated charcoal. So the primed ash is basically used to make blindness potion. So let's just put it in here and let it brew out. So here we have blindness potions. Now let's just get this out and we're going to do absolutely nothing with it. Next up we have the infused powder, which uses one cinder fruit in the middle surrounded by activated charcoal. Now this basically just gives you fire resistance. So let's just put this in and let it brew out too. Brewing is actually a tedious process, but at least it's almost done. And we're gonna get the potion of fire resistance. So nothing special here either. But now we have the most powerful ingredient. The heart of cinder. And this creates the potion of cinder soul. So let's just grab it and put it into our brewing stand. And put a bunch of bottles in there. And there we go. We have the most overpowered potion you can drink in this mod. So once you drink it, you notice a few things. So you have cinder soul. This basically makes you fireproof and actually everything proof. So this gives you resistance boost, fire resistance, and a dash ability. But first, let's cover the other ones. So first, let's step on this. 
absolutely nothing happens although i'm completely on fire and probably burning my clothes off and now we can just spawn in a mob that will try to kill us so let's have a blackened and as you can see oh okay you can still do a lot of damage but wait i don't i don't even have armor and this also gives you super strength so you can just kill mobs in three hits you can also kill a creeper in three hits you know what let's summon the creeper i don't even care anymore i summoned the creeper and no nope oh okay it only affects that mob for some reason oh, okay no 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 i just realized i didn't have the potion so there we go so basically you can kill creeper in two hits just by setting them on fire Oh, I just realized the other mobs are also fireproof. And the last thing you have with this potion is called the dash ability. So you just click V and it launches you like a maniac. So this just takes a while to actually reset. But if you drink another potion, it'll reset automatically. So let's just do it again. And that was our cue to jump again. So it basically just makes you jump like a maniac. It, 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 you really seem like a maniac doing this. And... We're gonna launch ourselves towards the camera. Oh, actually, I don't know what that is for. So I'll just wait for it to charge up and charge at something. So here we have a villager. Now let's use our attack on him. So we're gonna click V and hit him. There we go. Um, I don't think that did much except um anger him and possibly kill him. Um, and you know what? You never saw anything. Come back here. Come back here. I'm gonna punch you to death. There we go. That's basically the way you could use that attack. And I guess that was it for today's video. Or else I'm going to keep going and possibly ruin this mod review. So anyway, that was it for today's video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this mod review. Although it was probably a little, a little awkward. But I don't care anymore because my personality is awkward. And I guess it just makes it so I have my actual personality. And not a personality that I actually don't have. If that makes any sense at all. And I think I should just stop talking. But anyway, don't forget to burn that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you happen to be enjoying my content. Let's try to get to 10 likes on this mod review. And hopefully you guys have an awesome day or night. And see you all later. Bye!